The following information is designed to help you properly use and maintain the DeVilbus iGo Portable Oxygen System Model 306DS. This presentation is intended to complement, not replace, the instruction guide that accompanies your portable oxygen unit. Please make sure that you also read, understand, and follow the printed instructions. Your doctor has prescribed the IGO system as a means to obtain supplemental oxygen for treating certain respiratory ailments. Depending on your condition, IGO therapy may improve certain symptoms such as headaches, drowsiness, confusion, fatigue, or increased irritability. The device is not intended for life support. If these symptoms persist after you begin your supplemental oxygen program, please consult your doctor. Your DeVilbus IGO Personal Oxygen System is an oxygen concentrator, the most reliable, convenient, and efficient source of supplemental oxygen available today. The IGO system separates oxygen from room air to provide you with a source of supplemental oxygen. While the IGO system filters oxygen, it does not affect normal oxygen levels in the room. The IGO system features continuous flow and pulse dose oxygen delivery offering increased mobility and superior comfort. Pulse dose delivers oxygen in a very short puff, not continuously. The duration of each pulse of oxygen will not vary from breath to breath and is set in correlation to your prescription. As noted in your instruction guide, only standard nasal cannula can be used in the pulse dose mode. Pediatric low-flow cannula cannot be used. Any cannula can be used in the continuous flow mode. The IGO system has been designed to simplify operation from its intuitive top-mounted control panel. Simply press and hold the power button, located here, to turn the system on or off. The external power light illuminates when the IGO system is connected to either AC or DC power. If there is a power failure without a charged battery installed, an audible alert will sound and the light will flash for 15 minutes. Pressing the power button stops the alert. Oxygen concentration lights let you know at a glance if your iGo system is working properly. The green light signifies normal operation and an acceptable oxygen level. The yellow light illuminates when there is a problem with your unit, prompting you to refer to the troubleshooting section of your instruction manual. The red service light indicates a serious malfunction that requires you to switch to your reserve oxygen system. If the red light is on, call your DeVilbus provider immediately for instructions. Do not attempt any other maintenance. The mode select button lets you choose either pulse dose or continuous oxygen flow. The flow indicator light to the left pulses with every breath in the pulse dose mode and illuminates without interruption in the continuous flow mode. Flow rates for both pulse dose and continuous flow have been determined by your physician. These settings should not be changed without being instructed by your doctor. To the left of the control panel is the conveniently located oxygen outlet. Simply connect your oxygen tubing to the outlet and to a nasal cannula and breathe normally. Please consult your instruction guide for a list of recommended oxygen delivery accessories. Before using your IGO system, make sure you follow these important safety precautions. Always keep your IGO system at least five feet from hot sparking objects or any open source of flame. In addition, do not locate your IGO system near flammable materials or in the direct path of any heat source, such as a heat register or car heater. Position your system so alerts can be heard and never use the unit in a closet or any small enclosed space. Also make sure your IGO system is positioned at least six inches from walls, drapery, or any object that could prevent proper airflow. Place the unit in a well-ventilated location, free of pollutants and fumes, and be sure that the air inlet and exhaust are not blocked. Never cover your IGO system with a blanket, towel, or other covering to avoid overheating and never leave the unit running when not in use or the cannula unattended when delivering oxygen. High concentrations of oxygen can cause rapid burning. Finally, prior to operating your system, check to see that the air filter located in the handle cavity is clean. Your IGO system can be operated from three different power sources, AC power, DC power, or rechargeable battery. 
The system includes a universal AC adapter and power cord that should be securely inserted in the power input on the side of the unit. Plug the other end into a grounded AC outlet. To connect the AC adapter, align the arrow on the plug locking ring with the arrow on the receptacle of the unit. Push until the locking ring twists slightly counterclockwise, then snaps back into alignment with the arrow on the receptacle. To disconnect, grasp the plug, twist counterclockwise, and pull. Remember, never connect your iGO system to an extension cord or electrical outlet controlled by a wall switch. Your system also includes a DC adapter to operate the unit from DC accessory outlets, like those found in motor vehicles. Make sure the fuse rating in your vehicle is 15 amps or greater. After you've started your vehicle, insert the DC adapter into the power input on the side of the iGO system. Connect the DC adapter the same way you connected the AC adapter. Insert the other end of the DC adapter into the vehicle's DC accessory outlet. Always remember to unplug your unit when the engine is turned off and never start your vehicle while the DC adapter is connected to avoid draining the vehicle's battery. For added convenience and security, your iGO system can be operated from a rechargeable battery. Under normal operating conditions, the battery will be continually recharged while operating the unit under AC power. Your iGO system will not recharge the battery while connected to the automobile DC adapter. This is to prevent the iGO from drawing too much power from the vehicle and possibly blowing the auto fuse. The iGO battery will not discharge while connected to the automobile adapter. If external power is disconnected, your iGO system will automatically switch over to battery power. To install the battery, insert the battery tabs into the slots in the battery bay and push the battery until it is secure and flush with the back of the system. To remove the battery, push down on the latch. The battery will tilt so you can easily grasp it. When the battery is installed, a series of six green lights illuminate when the battery is fully charged. Lights turn off in sequence as the battery charge becomes depleted. The last remaining light will turn yellow and an audible beep will sound when the battery reaches its lowest operating level. Please consult your instruction guide for the typical operating life of a battery charge and be sure to check the battery level before you travel since the battery will discharge over time. Also keep in mind that the new battery packaged with your iGO system is not fully charged. Connect your iGO system to AC power to completely charge the battery which may require up to four and a half hours of uninterrupted charging. To clean and maintain your iGO portable oxygen system, Turn the unit off. The air filter should be removed and cleaned weekly in a solution of warm water and dishwashing detergent. Rinse thoroughly in warm water and towel dry. The filter should be completely dry before it's reinstalled. Cannula, tubing, and humidification accessories should be cleaned and replaced as instructed by your DeVilbus provider. Consult your instruction guide for additional information. When traveling, your iGO system can only be operated in a DeVilbus approved carry case, incorporating openings for the cannula, external power connections, and airflow. If you travel by plane, take your iGO system as a carry-on item. If checked as luggage, it must be packed in a protective case. Your iGO system can also be used with a lightweight cart. Please consult your instruction guide for information or contact your DeVilbus provider. If you have any questions about the operation or maintenance of your iGO system, please contact your DeVilbus provider. Many questions can be answered by consulting the troubleshooting section of your written instruction guide. We thank you for placing your trust in DeVilbus and are confident your iGO system will provide the safe and reliable supplemental oxygen you need.